What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna talk to you about what I did with the first $50,000 I ever made fighting in the UFC. Let's get to it. In 2012, I came off the Ultimate Fighter 15, live on FX. The best season of the Ultimate Fighter there ever was. And once I got off that show, I had $50,000. I made $10,000 getting off the show. I had a $25,000 fight of the season bonus against Ally Quinta. And then on the Ultimate Fighter finale card, I made $16,000 fighting Chris Saunders. All in all, that was $51,000. Now, at this point in my life, $50,000 might as well have felt like a million dollars. Like I literally, at this point in my life, I had 10 bucks in my bank account and I've never made more than $1,000 at one time. I don't come from a long line of money. I don't have any trust fund. The money that I made is all through hard work and sacrifice. I was used to living on the red line. By red line, I mean basically only having enough money to make it till the end of the week and not knowing where the next dollar is going to come in at. So having this $50,000 in my bank account was literally the first time where I didn't have to worry about where my next dollar is coming from, how I was going to eat or how I was going to survive. So let's get to it. What did I buy with $50,000? I bought a house. Boom. Now, some of you might be thinking that a house for $50,000, what are you talking about, Miles? In 2012, the housing market was still down. I purchased a house at 75% off. At this time, I paid $29,000 for this house cash, and I put about $10,000 into it, fixing it up. My idea behind it was to buy the crappiest house in the best neighborhood. Now, you might be thinking, Miles, why didn't you go out and buy a fancy car? Why didn't you go out and buy some jewelry? Why didn't I go out and get some fancy clothes and get all Gucci'd up? Which is a good question, right? Because I do have that option to do that. 50 grand in the bank, coming from nothing. Like, I'm not gonna lie, it did cross my mind. But a big reason why I bought this house is because I was scared. It was fear, honestly. Honestly, I had a big fear of being a broke, beat down fighter one day and having to live at home with my mom. Coming up as an MMA fighter, you can't really always afford housing, you know, and that literally leaves you with the options of sleeping on a couch, sleeping on somebody's floor, or the worst, crashing out in your own car. And if anybody out there has ever slept in your, in your car, I feel for you. It's not the best scenario. But that's the struggle coming up as an MMA fighter. I don't have any college degree to fall back on. I don't have a career to fall back on. So basically, at the end of the day, I have to make the best decisions that I could. And that big fear of being a broke, beat up fighter with no degree, living at home with his mom, that really persuaded me to, to get this house. Because at the end of the day, I thought, I, I really thought I was like, I might not ever make it one day, I might be broke, I might be beat up, but at least I'm not living at home with my mom. <laughs> I know this sport is short lived, MMA, professional fighting, I wish I could do it forever, but I know I can't. I know there's going to become a day where father time is knocking on me and says, Miles, you can't fight anymore. So I have to make the best decisions that I can with my money and with my career for my family, myself, and our future. Purchasing that house was the best decision I could have ever made because it was literally my first taste of investing in real estate without even knowing it. But we'll save that for another video. Guys, do me a favor. I want to know what you would have done with $50,000. What would you have bought in? Make sure to comment, let me know. I'm curious to what you guys would have would have bought with 50 Gs. Maybe you would have bought a, a sports car. Maybe you would have took a trip around the world. I don't know. But make sure to comment, let me know, because I'm curious to see. In case you guys didn't know, my next fight, February 21st, Thackerville, Oklahoma, Bellator, co-main event. Check me out on Paramount or anybody in the area. 
Make sure you attend the event. Come say what's up to me. I'd love to meet you. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. And any type of content, ideas, topics you want me to discuss, make sure you leave a comment below and I'll get to it. Until next time.